Where the Heart Is, Where the Heart Is is a 2000 American romantic drama film directed by Matt Williams in his film directing debut. The film stars Natalie Portman, Stocker Channing, Ashley Judd, and Joan Cusack with supporting roles performed by James Frain, Dylan Bruno, Keith David, and Sally Field. The screenplay, written by Lowell Gans and Babu Mandel, is based on the best-selling 1995 novel of the same name by Billy Letts. The film follows five years in the life of Novali Nation, a pregnant 17-year-old, who is abandoned by her boyfriend at a Walmart in a small Oklahoma town. She secretly moves into the store, where she eventually gives birth to her baby, which attracts media attention. With the help of friends, she makes a new life for herself in the town. After 17-year-old and seven months pregnant Novali Nation is abandoned by boyfriend Willie Jack Pickens at the local Walmart teen Sequoia when she uses the restroom and buys new shoes, she meets Thelma's sister husband who presents her with a buckeye tree, and Moses White Cotton, a local photographer who advises her to give her baby a strong name. A sickly and homeless Novali is forced to live in the Walmart, undetected. Novali is also acquainted with surly librarian Forney Hull who looks after his alcoholic sister Mary Elizabeth. During a thunderstorm Novali, alone at Walmart, goes into labor. Forney, who is now an odd Novali, smashes through the Walmart window to help deliver her child whom she names Americus. Novali instantly becomes a media darling, and in hospital is befriended by nurse Lexi Coop. Her estranged mother Mama Lil, visits after seeing her daughter on television but disappears with the money donated by well-wishers. Sister husband arrives and offers to take in Novali and Americus. Three years later, Novali becomes a photographer with the help of Moses. When a tornado blows through Sequoia, sister husband is killed. In her memory, Novali shoots a picture of Americus and the still-standing buckeye tree amidst the damage from the storm. After the funeral, Novali finds out that she is the beneficiary of sister's estate, totaling around $40,000. Novali builds a new home for herself and Americus on sister's land. And meanwhile, after a spell in prison and traveling to Nashville, Willie Jack becomes a one-hit wonder after a slow start with Beat of a Heart, a song he wrote in jail. He teams with cranky music agent Ruth Myers, who gives him a makeover in the stage name Billy Shadow. At the same time, Novali arrives Las Vegas to accept an award in a photo contest she has won narrowly missing Willie Jack who happens to be in the same hotel where Ruth breaks into his hotel room to inform Willie Jack his old cellmate Tommy Reynolds is suing him for plagiarism and drops him as a client for disloyalty. Upon her return to Sequoia, Novali discovers Lexi has been attacked by a new love interest who molested her two eldest children, nearly beating her to death as she attempted to protect them. Lexi's injuries hinder her nursing job, and she and her children have to move in with Novali in America. Lexi breaks down feeling guilty and angry, tearfully regretting her choice in men. Mary Elizabeth later passes away and when Forney does not appear at the funeral, Novali finds him in a hotel and comforts him. They act on the feelings they have denied for so long and spend the night together. Forney confesses his love for her, but Novali confides in Lexi she has never considered herself good enough for Forney and is confused about her feelings for him. Her continued feelings of unworthiness become overwhelming when says that he intends to stay with her rather than resume his studies at Bowdoin College in Maine. Believing his life would be a dead end with her in Sequoia, Novali struggles to lie to Forney saying she does not love him. Heartbroken and rejected by Novali, Forney returns to college in Maine. Novali learns that Lexi is seeing Ernie, an exterminator who does not possess the physical attributes that have in the past attracted her interest but she falls in love with him after learning he gave his ex-wife his restored 1967 Chevy Camaro in exchange for custody of his stepdaughter whom he adopted as his own. The couple marry, and Lexi tells Novali that she's pregnant. Severely depressed at his ruined career following the lawsuit, Willie Jack becomes a depressed alcoholic while driving with a woman across country. He wanders off drunk and collapses on a railroad track where he is unable to move as a train approaches. On Americus's fifth birthday, Novali picks up a newspaper and sees an article about Willie Jack having lost his legs some months before and recently being robbed of his wheelchair. Novali visits Willie Jack in the hospital and he confesses his whole life would have been different if he hadn't left her. She sees how Willie Jack is a changed man and is able to finally forgive and let go of him, but she warns him never to contact Americus. Novali realizes now her lies are similar mistakes with Forney. She drives Willie Jack home to Tennessee and continues to Maine to find Forney at Bowdoin. Novali tells him she really does love him and they return to Oklahoma and marry. The final scene is of their wedding, which takes place in a Walmart. Original music for the film was produced by Mason Daring.
A soundtrack of the original music was released by RCA Records, as well as a music compilation soundtrack featuring songs used in the film by artists such as Emmylou Harris, Lyle Lovett, Martina McBride, and John Hyatt. The song That's the Beat of the Heart was performed by the Warren Brothers and Sarah Evans. A music video was made for the song, which is included as a bonus extra on the DVD release, and features a number of scenes from the film. The film received mostly negative reviews. Metacritic gives it a score of 30% based on reviews from 28 critics. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 35% approval rating, based on reviews from 97 critics, with the site's consensus stating that the film's poor script and messy plot undermines the decent cast. The film opened in theaters in the United States on April 28, 2000, where the heart has accumulated $8,292,939 in its opening weekend, opening at number 4. The film went on to make $33,772,838 at the North American box office, and an additional $7,090,880 internationally for a worldwide total of $40,863,718. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.